We're trying to figure out this Teo story. I am so fucking confused. Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's uh, trending on Twitter, obviously. Big uh, story. Big story on Deadspin. Yep. MSNBC, the Morning Joe people, they started their show with it. Everyone's talking All about it. All the news store stations. Yeah. And I'm so damn confused. Because there's so many different versions of what may or may not have happened. Yeah. Uh, Manti Teo, huh? Manti Teo, the star uh, mm-hmm. of Notre Dame there. Notre Dame. Who was very close to winning the Heisman Trophy. And uh, he, he has like a dead girlfriend. But now the dead girlfriend doesn't exist. Or... Does she? Oh. <laughs> oh no, we know that much. Yeah, yeah, that we know. That I know. Yeah. So, so I could check that off. If 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 someone was quizzing me, I know I would get that one right. The, I've never the dead heard. girlfriend never existed. Okay, so I would get that question right. Uh, I've never heard the racial epithet quite like that one. Well, what? Uh, what? <clears throat> what? Uh, wait, what did national- I miss? Uh, well, I, I'm seeing a uh, racial epithet here on oh, uh, Pal oh, Talk. Oh, okay. I thought it was something you said that it went by me. No, no. It, I get what nationality is he? I would guess uh, a little of that Hawaiian. Hawaiian or something. Or <laughs> Samoan. I don't know. They, somebody just called him a volcano and then the N word. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I've, right. never, I've never heard that before, <laughs> but okay. All right. <laughs> Teo's checklist. His dead uh, girlfriend doesn't exist. Uh-huh. Thank you, Sam Roberts. That All I right. know. He might be Samoan or Hawaiian. Okay, we're going to put oh. that in the, the, the Teo checklist. Uh-huh. If anyone wants to help us out here, like fuck. Rock. We have a huge audience. Help us out. Yeah. Help us understand this story. <sighs> I, I, I guess um, there's a timeline that goes, uh, he met this girl online. Online, That's what okay. he's saying. All right. Now, beforehand, I never knew this online thing. It sounded like they had been together. Well, the online thing has been person. around since Al Gore mm-hmm. invented it. Right, the intratubes. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Uh, <laughs> so now you understand the online thing. Somewhere <laughs> in 2009, I believe, they supposedly met, but then it turns out they didn't really meet in person. It's just a purely internet and telephone relationship. So how do they meet? Is, I don't know. Like a v- live voice on a telephone? I don't know. Again, I don't know. And then by 2011, they were considered a an item, a relationship, even though they had never met in person. All right, so is the guy gay? Is that where you're going? Uh, is this guy I, I a gotta, gay guy? I got to say, this could possibly be true. Is he a, is he a gay guy? Is he? I don't know. Well, well why would you do that? Because now he's saying, okay, then then uh, this girl gets into a car accident and gets injured. Right. And, uh, you know, he continues this relationship and talking to her. Then, I guess, uh, in 2000, September 11, 2012, was it? Mm. His grandma dies, and then hours later... She dies. She had leukemia for a while. He had talked to her on the phone and was trying to get her through this. I, I thought I thought she was in a car accident. She was in the car accident and she got injured in the car accident. Did the car accident give her leukemia? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That'll make me laugh today. But it's sounding a lot like Mike I'm, Yanagita from uh, F- Fargo. Fargo. Oh, she she got leukemia, Margie. <laughs> she fought so hard, Margie. You're such a super lady. I'm so lonely. It's fucking Mike Yanagita. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no, she's a Linda Cooksey. She's fine. <laughs> he he was harassing her for a while. Oh gee. Oh my God. Fargo, one of the greatest oh, comedies yeah. ever. She's such a super lady. I look at it as a comedy mostly. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The Fargo. Um, but, so the guy makes up a fake girlfriend. Fake girlfriend. Uh, or, but he's saying it's not. He didn't make her up. Now this story that's coming out of his camp is that he is the victim of a very elaborate hoax. Catfish? That was perpetrated upon him. Some of that catfish shit? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And, and for reasons unknown, by the way, because there was never any um, uh, attempted financial oh gain God. or anything. But all right, all right, now all right. Opie has predicted, and as a, a member of this very program, yes. Um, Ooh. You know, Ooh. and the audience knows, yes. that in the past, yes. this program has been very, very astute at picking out the bullshit uh, and giving it to you before anyone else. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the lead on this and one. Here it comes. I'm gonna take the lead on this. Greg one. Opie, and, and I don't even know. I really don't know the ins and outs of this story. I'm learning as as we go along. No, you know what? It's called a hunch. You oh, I just got a get good enough hunch. of the info, and now you got instincts. I got a, I got a good hunch. The yeah. guy, this 
kid, Teo, made up this whole fucking thing for right. whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe he's a little uh, light in the loafers. Trying to c- a cover story maybe for the, the, the homosexuality. Right. Uh, uh, maybe perhaps. he's uh, mentally ill. <laughs> right, right. Maybe this was the little thing he needed to hopefully get the Heisman Trophy. That's the speculation. But That's this uh, guy, around. my hunch is this guy made up the whole fucking thing. And in about two to three days... Well, the weekend's coming, though. Right, right, right. He might right. skate the weekend. You could just say by next week. All right. He, he might skate the weekend, but early next week, you're going to see this guy in front of a lot of people breaking down saying he made up the whole thing, and we're going to be so uncomfortable. Yes, there will be a statement. We're going to be so uncomfortable. Because <clears throat> now he's like, I, I'm the victim of a hoax, so now he's got the athletic director like pouring yes. his heart out for this guy. And that's going to make people investigate. And all the people that supported him will then turn around and support him, but say he needs help. Right. And he obviously, we love him and right. he needs some help. Right. This is exactly like whenever the dick pictures came out for politicians, they would get on and say, oh, my account was hacked. Right. My account was right. hacked. And right. you're like, really? Account yeah. was hacked? And then a right. few days later, I want we- to apologize to my family, yeah. Yeah. my wife, yeah. uh, and everyone else <laughs> I hurt. Uh, I hurt. I hurt. Yeah. Uh, the judgment like, error. I- <laughs> we like to call it an eye patch situation. Right. We have an eye patch situation yes. here. This is an Re- eye patch situation. Remove the eye patch. He's going to remove the eye patch. There's and, no scratches. And there's going to be a perfect eye underneath there's no the eye glass. patch. This guy is going to be in front of a lot of people, and it's going to be great TV, and we're all going to feel yes. what we like to call the douche chill. The douche chill in full force because this guy absolutely faked this. Did it himself. There's some type of electronic trail. There's other people involved. Sure. People love these stories. The news loves them. They dig, dig, dig. They're going to keep digging. Yes. And what they'll find is uh, evidence. Deadspin's already saying it was him that made it up. They are saying that. There's apparently a guy. what the fuck? Did someone beat me to the hunch? Well, Deadspin. You know, but the mainstream media, which, of course, Opie, we are part of. Uh, (laughs) Yes, I'm very excited about it, too. Uh, (laughs) You will see the mainstream media will run with the fact that it was a hoax and he's uh, very um, hurt. Uh, But then in a few days, they'll be like, oh, info coming out. Because Deadspin is saying that there's another guy involved that helped him perpetrate this hoax. For whatever gains, uh, like we've said, it might be the Heisman, might be the fact that perhaps there is a little sexuality question going on here, and and he was trying to cover up. It's just really strange. Very it's strange. Extremely strange. This one. Wow, Very. Man, there are some creepy, mentally ill people in this world. Just wordos. I I want to him reported, and uh, if he has a gun, I want it taken away. Well, that would he be good. sounds like a mental case. That would be good. Yeah. So what what are our facts so far, uh, Sam? As we Sam, build the facts, case in front Sam. of everyone's eyes. Okay, the facts are his dead girlfriend doesn't exist. Oh man, mm-hmm. he might be Samoan or Hawaiian. Mm-hmm. The internet is a thing, mm-hmm. right? And <laughs> is this the notes you've been taking during yes. our discussion? Yes, yes very good. The internet is a thing, uh-huh. Uh-huh. and we think it's a hoax. What about sexuality? Oh, yeah. Could be a mo. Uh, well, no, I said light in the loafers. I, light I went in old, the loafers. I went old school. I'm going to say mo. You're going to go with mo? So I'm going to go right, with mo. <laughs> Probably a bit mo. light in the loafers slash a mo. A mo. Also, <laughs> could you please just put this into queeb? <laughs> He's a queeb or a quay. A quay? What's <laughs> yes. A, oh, okay. That's A quay. We used to call people quay. That guy's quay. Is that short for the queer? That's like queer gay. Quay. Queer gay. So then the, oh, the last day, fact is yeah. probably probably a bit <laughs> probably a bit light in the loafers slash mo. Also, he's most likely a queeb. Or a queeb. <laughs> we don't know a queeb or a queeb. Can you add so we don't get sued? But of course we don't. Yeah, know. yeah. Of course we don't know. <laughs> but of course we have no idea. And of course, there's nothing wrong with that, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean nothing wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong. We're, we're trying with to build it. our audience. We might need a few uh, geese. You know what? Because 2013 to show. Oh, is all about diversity. Yeah, it sure is. Uh, whether it's gays, blacks, um, or, or the, gays. Okay. Or, or the quays. So right. do I need to restate this for the record? Yeah, please. All okay. right, run through the, the facts again, just in case <clears throat> people at home have just gotten a pen. Because I want to jot it down. It's a complicated story, yes. so the Teo facts checklist. Uh-huh. His dead girlfriend doesn't exist. Right. He might be Samoan or Hawaiian. <laughs> right. <laughs> but can we, like... Narrow that one down at least. We should be able to quickly. Can't uh, someone at least like say it's a Hawaiian? I think horse. on his wiki page, it probably tells where he's been. Right. Well, you know, where these he's are the born. facts as All they right. stand. All right. uh, the internet is a thing. That's true. We think it's a hoax. The internet? No, no, no. This is the the hoax oh, is another fact because the internet the is a thing. Definitely, that's a fact. All right. It's on All right. the list. All right. 
and uh, probably a bit light in the loafers slash mo. Also, he's most likely a queeb or a quay, <laughs> but of course we don't know, and obviously there's nothing wrong with that. All right. Very good. I love a good fact sheet. It's just a bullet we're point. Fuck, we're fucking idiots. I love a good fact sheet to start the morning. I'm sure we'll build on this as the story progresses, too. Absolutely. Yes. Well, well, we got a uh, we got um, some bullet points here, thanks real, to Travis. Travis fact list. <laughs> Travis uh-huh. knows a little more about this, Opie, right? Travis, by the way, after yeah. uh, the legislation of Andrew Cuomo, we're only allowed seven bullet points uh-huh. on any sheet. Oh, really? Uh, so please One, two, keep three, them four, five, to seven, six, seven bullet points. We have 11. My sheet is ten bullet points, but uh-huh. I only filled in seven. Ah, ah. Then, very good. Then we're, we're compliant. Okay. So what do we know, Travis? It, it, I really am so confused about here, this story. Here's the problem with the story. is it, It's so complex that you really you, you can either do one of two things you can either go through the entire thing or you can just say uh you know the the, the short end of it is that you know he he didn't have a girlfriend it was a lie the whole time right you know but if you really want to get into it it's a fascinating like deadspin did such an amazing job at at just completely debunking this entire thing she lived in niagara falls hey <laughs> hey <laughs> <laughs> Like they 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 spent you know I I don't even know how long taking her photos that that everybody assumed were were hers and doing like related <laughs> image searches. Where did the uh, where did the photos come from? The photos ended up coming from some girl who has never met Manti before. Did she come forward and say, "Hey, that, that's she, me"? But uh, fuck, yeah, I don't she, know. Deadspin finally I, oh! I I don't know how Deadspin found her. And and said, "Hey, are these your photos?" And this is catfish. Yeah, yeah. And 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 a couple of the photos were on her personal accounts, uh, like Facebook and Instagram. But one of the photos, she never posted online, ever. Ooh, it was that's a, it was, crazy. It was a personal oh. photo. Is it like uh, Crazy Joe Devola taking pictures of Elaine in the shower and yes. stuff? Yes, yes. And then making a <laughs> shrine in his, in to his her. Dark room. <laughs> <laughs> She, Before he got Panaka in the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> she sent the photo uh-huh. to uh, an old high school friend who got in touch with her saying, hey, my cousin was in a car accident. What? Uh, he saw your photos online, Shit. thinks you're really pretty. I'm putting a slideshow together to make him feel better. Would you mind sending me a photo? Whoa. This guy. It's insane. This guy is definitely friends with Manti. Ah, uh-huh. oh. so what does that mean? There's <laughs> online evidence that they know each other. <laughs> they, he's been to games as Manti's wait, wait, guest. Wait, 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 wait. This guy that asked her for a photo created Lene. <gasps> wait, 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 wait. The guy that asked for a photo, yeah. does he know the girl at all? Yes, they're high school All right, so friends. he knew the girl, but he also knows Manti. Yes. There's the common denominator. Yes. So... So how is he involved with this scandal part of it? Apparently, besides just having Apparently, he created her... In 2008, and Manti's not the first person who's had a quote relationship with her. Wait, 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 wait. What? So are you saying? Fuck? Are you saying that Manti really did think she was real because this guy like fucked him over? Was was I don't know. Him? Uh, my my <clears throat> assumption, yeah, is that he knew she was fake. So what's the purpose? Publicity. It's a great story. It, it's it's an inspirational and heartbreaking and story. What, what, this what guy else, overcomes what else did all this guy this? use this fake? Biography and pictures, this friend of his, what else did he use it for? Catfishing. Just as a goof? Yeah. As fun? Yeah. Is catfishing a big thing? Dude, it's apparently, apparently it's huge. very big. It's, got I a, it's a series now. No, I understand it's a series and I love the movie, but I didn't realize it was a thing that a lot of people are doing. I'm not going to use any names, but I know somebody, I know a girl, mm. that has made a profile mm. of, a, of a young um, um, like hip-hop guy and has collected probably six young black women as girlfriends and just talks ghetto and bamboozles the hell out of them into um uh like loving the the, the hip hop guy. Yeah, I don't think and there's any like after financial while, gain. No, and then after a while just you 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 break up with them. You yeah. you tell them like, "Oh, I, I've been lying about myself. Here's my picture. And then sends a picture of an old corporate businessman. <laughs> <laughs> but I still hilarious. love you. you, you I still love you, though. I mean, how many times has our own Bobo been catfished? Oh, well, yes, yes. You know? And just purely for fun. But then they figured, why don't we do this for some type of gain, perhaps the Heisman Trophy? 
Oh. It's psychotic. This is hilarious. Yeah. So it would have gave him the edge on the Heisman Trophy, but as we all hobby. know, he came in second, right? He came in second, yeah. Opie, yeah. He's I, the runner-up for I mean, Heisman. he's still a great football player. Like, whether his girlfriend died or not, like, he's a, he's, uh-huh. he's a first-round pick. He's, he's, a, he's a great football player. But this story... You know, uh, he sets you apart from everybody. He's obviously involved. I think he is, and yeah. he's going to have to break down and, and tell. I don't think that he's it was dumb all... enough oh, to but, have fallen. You know what might right. clear this up a bit Ooh. if we run through our checklist again and see. <laughs> okay, you, you know it might from what we just heard from Travis. Yeah. Now going back to the the facts checklist, it might uh, clear things up. We're, we're a big fan of the checklist. Yes, yes. Okay. S- Sam, these are the facts as we know as them. We so know far. Them. And, and remember, when we started the show today, we didn't know much. Right? No, no. We're Breaking it down in front of everybody. Yes. So as we know it, uh, his dead girlfriend doesn't exist. Uh huh. He might be Samoan or Hawaiian. Wait, once again, yeah. can't we? Can't we? In the time since we last read the checklist, <laughs> right. that hasn't been cleared we up. We haven't cleared that up <laughs> no, yet. No, not yet. Why why seems, have we cleared that one up? That seems like a pretty easy one there. I, I'm not willing to, to put anything that is not a fact on the right. checklist. So, All right. So we're still All the right. he might be. Right. I like right. his. Okay. In, I like Sam's uh, journalistic integrity. Right. Uh, number three, the internet is a thing. Yes. Uh-huh. Number four, we think it's a hoax. Not the internet. No, no. The, Why don't you this... put a, uh, in parentheses, we think it's a hoax, not the internet. Yeah, because right, people right, right. might get confused. Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, right. hang on, I'll just add a, duh. Oh, uh, yeah. That yeah. way, you okay. know. Like, no, right. you added that. Yeah. Oh, you're right, that's not a fact. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You yeah. added that. Okay. Don't not, editorialize. Um, yeah, please. <laughs> Probably a bit light in the loafers <laughs> slash mo. Also, he's most likely a queem or quay. <laughs> but of course, we don't know. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with Obviously. That. obviously. And the last fact, newly added, oh, new is one. everyone loves to catfish. Everyone but, seems to love to I, doing a little catfish. I had no idea. I didn't realize the catfish <laughs> thing was as big as it <laughs> obviously is. So This is very weird. Let yeah. me go to Travis. What do you think of the, the gay angle? Is that completely just stupid? The queeb angle. Uh, or quag. Or a mo. Or, or is it more like, this is a great know, story and this could help me with the Heisman? He's Mormon. <gasps> oh, I don't know. They get really. That was another big story. Up. He's a Mormon going to a Catholic school. Right. Nobody expected that. But uh-huh. I mean, if you're going to win the Heisman, they're really going to look at you. Yeah, yeah. So he has to be half fucking crazy to think this would have uh, worked I to think- get him the Heisman trophy. Give him the edge on that anyway. If, if he is telling the truth, then he was obviously embarrassed by some part of this relationship because he talked about you know they met at a football game they never met at a football game no yesterday he said it was completely online you know that he that he had actually never met her well, so, this is odd so, but what, why, wait, wait, why, why he, wouldn't the guy want live pussy right and he didn't go he's to the a, he's funeral a, he didn't go to the funeral because he said that that she insisted he never miss a game so he didn't go to the funeral and people were buying this for how long before it all fell apart uh, well, she died in September. If they were so in love, wouldn't the family have family maybe put the... never f- met her. No, I mean, wouldn't her family mm. have maybe put the funeral off for a day where her true love isn't playing football? Well, well obviously, there's a... Yeah. A lot of red flags here. There was yeah, um, it's a lot of red flags. A lot of red flags here. Uh, a lot of red flags put here. Put that on the checklist. Please. There was, there was a, a reporter flags. on ESPN last night who had, who had done a piece previously about, about them and saying, you know, like, like in hindsight, a, a lot of things, you know, don't add up anymore. You know, when I was mm-hmm. doing my, my report, I asked, uh, you know, can I get in touch with, with the girlfriend's family for photos? And he mm-hmm. said, oh, you know, they would prefer to be left alone. Of course, because they well, don't exist. Yeah. Well, can I, can I add this, too? Uh, we've talked about how lame the media is, and they're lazy, and they don't do their own fucking homework. This is a perfect example. This is, yeah. There's just so uh, many things here where right. if you were a real reporter or a real news organization, you uh-huh. would have dug a little deeper instead of just assuming and copy and pasting something that, something you saw by another reporter. It's, exactly. it's such lazy journalism when, when you realize that there was no record of her death, no obituary, no funeral announcement, no mention of it in her college paper that she supposedly uh-huh. attended, no record of her birth, no record of a car accident that she was supposedly in. So, like, th- w- wouldn't you think that at some point some reporter would at least try to find the obituary for right. her? Right. Of course. It, you're right, though. It's, it's just complete lazy reporting. And then... I don't understand why he did this. He obviously is involved in some way. Because after the fact that where, where it all came out in their circle that this was fake, he continued with the bullshit story with other people, Yeah, didn't he? Yeah. Is, is him not wanting live pussy that Opie mentioned, is that a fact? 
Um, that's far. Well, as, I, I question. I, I, question. I think as far as facts uh, for the checklist goes, that would be on the Troy Kwan list of questions. Question. I, I, I got questions. I got questions because questions. you're <laughs> you're a star athlete. You're going to go to the NFL. You might win the Heisman Trophy, and you're not into live pussy. Yeah. You're having this weird internet relationship with someone that you never met. Hence, you never flew her in. Hence, to, we go where, back where to the mo. Quay. Uh, Quay Quib. And we're we're. Oh, and he's in Notre Dame, obviously. Yeah. So why wouldn't he fly her in for a game? They apparently exactly. they met at a game in California. No, they didn't, though. No, they didn't. Because she didn't exist. Now he's yeah, saying. And he said they one. met at a he game. He said they met at a game. He would he would talk to her on the phone every night. You think this will fuck up his NFL career? Yes! yes. He's think, a crazy person! You think teams are going to think twice yeah. before oh, absolutely. they draft him now? Absolutely. And they're not giving the Heisman Trophy to a fucking lunatic either. Well, you he know? didn't win it. Well, he didn't win it. But yeah. they never... He won a lot of other awards. Well, how, so. close, was, how yeah. close was the voting? Uh, I'm, I'm, was it really close this I'm year, the Heisman sure. Trophy voting? I don't really follow college football. Maybe he knew he needed a little something extra because he knew the, you know. Yeah, I know. there's something we don't he know. He was going to fall short He's, of the Heisman. He might talk today. He's going to talk, whether it's today oh, or boy. really soon. I mean, he already and released it's going to be statement. really it's uncomfortable. Not believable, but. And then you got the athletic director supporting him still. We got that audience. Yeah. Are there media clips of him talking about this girl? Yeah. Oh, we got to play some I those. want to hear those uh, more than I want to hear my own go to, voice. Go to Deadspin. <laughs> we got to hear those. Uh, Holy mother of God, this guy is batshit How many bullet crazy. points have we done of, uh, uh, from I mean, your you, list you, there, you pretty much, You pretty if much got it. We got most of them? If yeah. it's seven, we have to now go to a new bullet point sheet written on a separate magazine oh, piece of paper. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, we got, oh, there's the timeline. I need audio. God, do I want to hear him talking about uh, about his girlfriend that doesn't exist? Okay, okay. we gotta wait twenty five seconds. Why? And then I have to find the clip for Why? Nick Kroll to finish. Let's just keep talking, and and, and when we it's a Radisson song. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> there are a couple new facts on our facts checklist. All right, um, and oh. hold on before you. You want to add any of these to the fact checklist? The dead girlfriend called him two two months after she supposedly yes. died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I did hear this. I mean that that's in in the Notre Dame clip. Okay, you know they're they're saying that that how Manti found out about all of this is that when he was at uh, the the ESPY awards, mm -hmm. he he got a phone call from her phone number. Was he really at the ESPY awards? Oh. I don't believe anything this guy says. Uh. So he gets a phone call. Uh -huh. From the phone number that he thought was uh, Lene's. There's only congratulations. <laughs> there's only one. There's, there's only one. The phones are lit, but there's only one call I want to take because um, Robert in Birmingham has a little something. Robert, go ahead, sir. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I, I live in Birmingham. When uh, when our guy Mark Ingram, the running back, got the Heisman uh, a couple of years ago, the whole time leading up to that, there was this special interest story. That his dad's been in prison, and uh, you know he a lot of what he does is you know for his dad and all that. And this story kept going on, and every time he was talked about for the Heisman with the other candidates, this side story was always mentioned. Mm -hmm. And so it looks like this has been cultivated for that same thing to well, sort of give this extra attention on uh, for him when you look at him with the other guys. So obviously Ingram's story was uh, false. No, Ingram's story is true. His dad actually is in. Oh, prison, but it. But, but, oh, so it did work for him. So somebody might look at that and go, "Wow, the sympathy oh, angle works." So, Let me fake oh, some oh, of it. All right, I got you. So Ingram, uh, yeah. that oh. gave him the edge uh, as far as the Heisman Trophy. And it might have inspired some and, shenanigans. And inspired possibly this situation. Possible shenanigans. Uh, gotcha. Maybe I, I'm also hearing that uh, late one night um, he got a phone call from her after she she died, mm. and uh, she was talking to him, saying, "Hello." Hello. Hello. And then the next morning, mm. they followed the phone line. Mm. You know where it went? Where? The cemetery. <gasps> and th Whoa. yes, and one of the phone lines Whoa. had come down in a storm and laid right across the <gasps> grave and Whoa. the tombstone. That's fucked up. Yes. <laughs> what? What's that tune? What are you doing? <laughs> Comment something. Oh, okay. We have a clip of him uh, talking about oh, it now. Please. Right, so what year is this from? Uh, this uh, this year, and by the way, a couple months ago, yeah. I could tell right. if people are batshit crazy just by listening to them talk and watching them. Okay, so. <laughs> no, no. okay. <laughs> hey brother, uh, she hit her head. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh my god, <laughs> she hit her head. Okay, when she got out of the car. And uh, 
I continued driving. Yeah, I drove around for eight hours. I was in Allentown, okay. I dumped her body. I mean, I dumped her. I mean, I left her at the hotel. I'm going to blink a lot and touch my face, okay. Which is obviously a sign of lying. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, brother. <laughs> All right, let's see, uh, Teo. The only thing that is completely true, by the way, is that his grandmother did die. Whose? His mother. Teo. Yeah. Well, everyone's grandma died. Did he but, have but, a but grandmother? But this was the thing. Is that, is did that he write that? His, his grandmother. grandmother died, right. and then six hours later, he found out that his girlfriend died. So it's overcoming all of this tragedy in such a short amount of time. I work at Honeywell. Oh, but that's... You, know, mm, you could do a lot worse. His grandmother did pass away. This guy's good. Think about it. Grandma dies, then you throw in, oh, when the girlfriend died, now it's all it's fucking... crazy. It's like a fucking hornet's nest. Where do you begin? What story, about his yeah. imaginary cat or dog? Yes. Did they suffer um, any uh, injuries? Come on. <laughs> Blind. Come on. This is crazy. This sounds like one of Iraq's convoluted, vague uh, fucking <laughs> screenplays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, let's uh, listen to Teo a couple months ago, I guess. Yeah. All right. The answer that I got to come to this school wasn't the answer that I was expecting, and it wasn't the answer that I wanted. Mm -hmm. But luckily for me, I had music. great parents that taught me the importance of having faith. He's crazy. And yes. faith was tested to its core on September 12th. <laughs> Tail was awakened by an early morning phone call from his parents. They told him his grandmother, Annette Santiago, had died after an extended illness. That happens. And then, just six hours later, oh, what? one heartbreaking loss what? was followed by another. This is tragic. My older brother called me, and he was just crying and crying and crying. And that's when I, I kind of knew, but I was still in denial. And I was like, don't, don't tell me you're Could you pause this for a second? I'm thinking. Please. <laughs> At this point, does he know this is fake? At this point, when he's doing this interview, does he know this is fucking fake? I, I, well, it depends on what you believe. If you believe that he was in on it, then yeah, he knows it's fake. If if I, you believe that he was a victim of a hoax, no, I th then no, he still hmm. thinks that it's all real. I, I, uh, <laughs> this is so this creepy, is really dude. I believe because... he knew the entire time. Yeah, I, I gotta go with that, too. She fought so hard, Margie. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go with that, too, that he knew the whole time. Yeah. How do you not in this day and Of age? course! How do you not? How about this also? You know, you know why? He didn't send anything to the hospital. What about get well cards? What about the address to the hospital? Yeah, well, Where well, was yeah. it? Right. He didn't send her one fucking get well mylar balloon? I don't and where was him. she sick? Back in California? Yeah, he, he, he could have found in a car accident when she was in the hospital for the car accident. She was diagnosed with leukemia. Look, she, she got better. She, she eventually graduated college which never happened oh my god and then you didn't go she, to her graduation and then no apparently not and how many years w were they together uh since 2012 from 2009 till 2000 yeah I think no, they, they that's didn't what become I mean. like a couple until 2011 but how something. long did he know her from since 2009 Oh my yeah. God! This guy's the biggest bullshitter. Yeah, so he knew the whole time. I'm yes, sorry. He, he knew the whole time. Because in three years, he never met her. He's very and unbelievable. He, and then she's in a car accident, and she has leukemia, and he doesn't go out to see never her. Never saw her. Yeah. Who never the fuck fucking, does that? Didn't go to the funeral. And obviously, he didn't send her anything because yeah. there was never an address to the hospital or anything. What the fuck? Yeah. He said that he would. Uh, he he would stay. She was in a coma. And <laughs> she, now she's in a coma too. This is crazy. Wife's in a coma. Uh, she he would he would stay on the I phone. I had sex with your wife. <laughs> <laughs> I had sex with your imaginary girl. <laughs> or he or would stay on the phone with her. Uh, well, and and just fall asleep while she was in. While in, she was on coma phone, like yeah. at the other side of yeah, the because, fucking. Yeah, because is there phone records of this? Oh my god! She, I don't know. This and is and crazy. The probably we're, not. The clip we're watching is really creepy because it's very believable. So is he that fucking nuts? Right. That's crazy. Or is, if he, you're, or is he that stupid? Pathological. I, I think he knew the whole time. I think he knew the whole time too because he's already lied a lot about it, yes. saying that saying that they met. Oh, and, he's gonna break you know, down. Have to admit everything. I can't wait for that. Dude, what do you think is happening today? If her death affects him so tragically, like he's talking. And like we'll we'll hear in a couple of seconds here when we start this up again, he would have had a feeling where he had to see her. Like if I was that in love with somebody and they were that ill, you would drop everything oh God, yeah. to see them, to have some kind of physical contact with of that course. person. This guy is full of fucking shit. Of Stop course. with your 
You're bullshitting. Of course. <laughs> oh, oh. There's not there's not a guy alive that wouldn't drop everything if you're in that. Right. You wouldn't go to your, your loved ones that much funeral. Love. And if you didn't and just were acquaintances on the internet, then it wouldn't affect you like this. Yeah. Six to one and a half does the other thing. Holla. I don't know. Yeah, that's a great point. If if, if what, you would only six... just talked online, right. the holla, this wouldn't, the ho- this wouldn't be yes. this. Yes, yes. All right, let's play the rest of this clip. Yeah, please. And that's when he just said she's gone. Yeah. Well, Teo's girlfriend, Lene Kekua, who was battling leukemia, had died. Lene Kekua. Just lost everything. And you know, I cried. I yelled. I never felt that way before. <laughs> this is six hours ago. I just found out grandma passed away. And this is crazy. You take, you know, the love of my life. Last thing she said to me was, I love you. She never said that. No, no she didn't. And the reporter never checked Lene on this. had made Teo promise that if anything happened to her, he wouldn't miss a game. Teo's doing a Tebow. That Saturday night, he was on the field at Michigan State. Wow. What bravery. Pause. Oh, look. Grandmother. He's pause. This is so oh uncomfortable. Oh, my God. This, I'm getting this is an eye patch situation. Eye patch. Eye patch. And then he allows the whole crowd to fucking feel for him. Holy fuck. He 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 did like the kiss his finger, yeah. tap right. his chest, and looked up at the fucking heavens oh, where his imaginary eyes. girlfriend is. <laughs> oh, my God. That's where Jesus lives. Jesus lives up there. Yeah, her last words were never "I love you." They never spoke. No, nope. ever. She didn't no. exist. Never. No, she. Did. Not only did she never exist. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I'm just throwing. I I completely think he he knew the whole time. But let me just throw this out there. If this was a huge hoax, would th- there had to be a girl involved that was calling him? Right. Yeah. Are, is anyone saying that? Well, it, it's it's so. A fake girl, obviously, playing yeah, the part. Like, now he's saying, oh. or, or now the, the Notre Dame athletic director is saying that it was completely online. So uh-huh. so now it depends on, you know, what you believe. Do you believe that it was completely online and that no, no and that he never spoke to but her? He had then, said he's, he did. then he's been lying <clears> about <throat> that. Right. So how do you believe that, that but he... But they are playing this, in this piece we're uh, watching right now, like he had a, a real, true... Regular girlfriend, That's where what they everybody were dating, until yesterday. They, right? He was flying to see her and all that shit. Up until yesterday, that's what everybody. Why thought. didn't Why didn't this guy mention uh, because he didn't know this reporter that it was an online thing? Right. That's a big deal because they didn't know. Nobody Huge. knew. Uh, uh, you, you just take your word for it. You don't. You don't ask questions. You know. Oh, this is my girlfriend. Right. But you know? no one saw him with her. And no what one... a fucking nut this guy is. I mean, this is pathological. If you can pull, like, get on the field, do that, have interviews, talk about yeah, I, this dead girl can, and emote. Can, I want to add to our list. Oh, One nice. thing, this is what I want to add. One thing is certain. He's a kook. Oh, good. Yes, yes. Regardless. Regardless of how this plays out, he's a kook. Even if he was trying to garner sympathy for the Heisman Trophy. You spelled cook. Um, <laughs> I mean, technically. All right. Cook. Uh, even if he was trying to get sympathy for uh, the Heisman Trophy, or if he was uh, trying to cover up maybe some sexuality issues, he's still crazy. He's nuts no matter what. Yes. He's either extremely naive or completely crazy. He's a kook. Oh, I he's love this. He's a kook this. either way. I love this. His official statement says that they spoke on the phone, but Notre Dame last night says it was completely online. And, and wait till you hear the athletic director. He, he's oh, my be, God. He's going to be extremely embarrassed in the next couple of days. When I heard him, I thought he was going to talk about his two bad knees and his right. dream to become <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm 18 I, years ago, I left Dayton, Ohio <laughs> with two very bad knees. Oh, uh, yeah. What else? And a dream to become a major league baseball oh, player. Hey, I hope that worked out for I, you. Me God, too. I hope that worked out. Did did it? What happened? I thank God the dream came true. Oh, hey, thank good God for the you. dream came true. Oh, oh good, God. good for you. Good for you. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's still an entire part of the story that we haven't even talked about yet. Uh, which is 
What's which, that? Which, which, which is what Notre Dame is saying. That, oh, right. That right. he Let, found out, you know. Let's play the rest of this clip, because this kind of brings a lot of the story together. So I am Go loving. back a little bit. So his girlfriend dies. Yeah. He promised her he would never miss a game. Now he's on the field and letting everyone feel bad for him. Praying. Oh. And then he's, he's, he's saluting her in the heavens. This is so embarrassing to watch. Oh my God! Uh, and this is Division Ooh. One football. This is like the, the some say the best college player of the year. Oh my God! Promise that if anything happened to her, he wouldn't miss a game. That Saturday night, he was on the field at Michigan State. Okay. Very emotional. His grandmother passing away over in Hawaii, and then shortly after, Fred her Musburger, good friend. Right? The he game just came Finn easily for Teo that night. Oh. He is stuffed in the backfield by Manti Teo. He recorded 12 tackles, recovered a fumble, and broke up two passes in the win. They were with me. Oh, my I couldn't my do without them. God. I couldn't do without the support of my family and my girlfriend's family. And uh, I miss them. I miss them. But I know that I'll see them again one day. No, you won't. The following Friday night. <laughs> Not even your grandma because you're a lying, you're a sinning Michigan liar. Game. Oh they all started waving the number five with their hand, and they had the lays on, and it was an, an incredible scene that forced me to ask. Lays or lies? Speak. Four years ago. Ah, buffering. All right. Holy well, shit. As it buffers, shit. let's go back to our checklist. We're really breaking this story down there. <laughs> this okay. is All right, let's, let's go through them from the top again, if you will. This is the facts. This is what we the know. Detail. About Teo. Right. His dead girlfriend does not exist. Absolutely not. Check. He might be Samoan or Hawaiian. Wait a minute. Why is there a mite on this list? Remember a little while ago we said that yeah. we could kind of... Do you remember? <laughs> we could break that one down finally. Yeah. It might be either one of those two. It's one click of the mouse to find mm -hmm. that out. It may be... Can you at least add, I'm leaning toward Hawaiian? Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> could you at least... Yes, probably Hawaiian. Okay. Okay, probably Hawaiian. Right. Is, that that, is right. that that Hawaiian player? You remember how we're talking about <laughs> reporters don't do their don't fucking... Uh -huh. their that own... is a lion player. <laughs> <laughs> we're right. talking about how reporters don't do the basics. Yeah. So we should do the basics. Oh, oh yes. okay. okay we got but the... at least we're, we're to the point where we're saying probably Hawaiian. Probably Hawaiian. All right, good. Uh, the internet is a thing. Right. Mm-hmm. We think it's a hoax, not the internet. Right, right. Probably a bit light in the loafers slash mo. <laughs> and also, that's my favorite. He's most likely a queeb or a quay. Yeah. But of course, we don't know. Right. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. Of exactly. Every, everyone loves to catfish. Sure. A lot of red flags here. Yes. <laughs> the news media are a bunch of lazy bums. Uh -huh. When he talks, we will get douche chills. <laughs> yes. His grandma is dead, but everyone's grandma dies. Well, I think yeah. Opie reiterated that, sure. Uh, he's a kook either way. Yes, a That's, kook. That should be in bold. Can uh, you change the font for that one? Bold type just for on the last one. one. Just yeah, that one. just okay. make it a little bigger, just so it stands out. And by the last one, you mean the last one for now. Right, of course, of course. Oh, right, look at that. Nice. This list is constantly updating. Why didn't the regular m m news media do this? Make a checklist. Get together with each other. Hash it out like we are sure. here. I don't know. And why assume anything, you know, especially with the Samoan Hawaiian deal? <laughs> yes. <laughs> like just assumption and Hawaiian deal. Yeah. Although his grandmother's name sounded suspiciously Spanish. Ooh. I know. <laughs> long shot, right? Long shot Spanish. <laughs> long shot Spanish. <laughs> Yes. Probably Hawaiian, long shot Spanish. There you uh, go. On, and, and then on grandmother's side. Because we're not going to look foolish like the rest of the media. We're going to cover all our bases. <laughs> yes, on grandma's side. Right. Bases, right. I should say, yes. Okay, back to the YouTube clip that should have buffered by now. It. Oh, boy. It looks like everyone wants to watch this clip Oh, today. yeah. yeah stuck this here. Is, a... is this guy going to have a viral video from this? I would rewind a little. Just refresh and then start from three. Oh, oh, well, look at oh, Dr. Gates. Oh, 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 oh. he I knows his way around yeah. the internet. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. The 1600 pen clip. Ah, and we have Josh Gad. Gad. We have Josh Gad coming in tomorrow. A little plug for him. It wasn't that He's far. It wasn't that far. It's 309. It's 309. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go back a little further because the Michigan. Here, uh, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there is fine. Oh boy. oh, boy. It was an, an incredible scene oh. that forced me to ask Manti to come up and speak. Four years ago, I made a decision to come here. and uh, From Dayton? I didn't really know why. In times like these, I know why. 
I love each and every one of you, and I can't thank you enough for Oh, my God. Is he crying? Totally fake. Is he crying? That's a fake cry. Oh, oh my yeah. God. That's someone oh, trying to cry. No matter how much I try to picture it in my head, what it would look like, I could never have painted that picture of what I saw in their stadium. One dog looking one way, one looking the other. close win against Michigan. In the middle, same my girlfriend's Kale dead. intercepted two passes, and he did it on the same day that Lene was buried. I literally <laughs> fucking with me. And after every play I made, I said, that's for you. That's for both of you. That was his roommate the night before the game. Pause. Um, you know, he <laughs> this is his roommate? Holy, holy shit. I am so fucking douched What out. an inspirational story. Wow. They wanted to, this, to believe this. The I media. Think, I think the media. The, all the sports guys. Plays their part. This is this. the perfect, like, right. oh, my God, look at him. Right. Oh, this guy, the game, the fucking. Oh, Just imagine the vignettes shame. Bob Costas would make out of this. <laughs> Notre <laughs> Sh- ah, right? <laughs> and he transcended his sorrow and took to the field. <laughs> right. well, bleh, bleh, bleh. Notre Shame, they're calling it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty funny. College football is a weird fucking world, huh? They got some fucked up shit going on the last couple of years. Lion sack of shit on my favorite team. I don't <laughs> like it, Gilbert. <laughs> Here, and 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 here's the other thing. Like now, all of these news outlets are just saying, "Oh, he was a victim of catfishing," because Notre Dame says he was a victim yes! of catfishing. Yeah, they're like, not, they're still not doing their own no, shit. Come they're, they're, on, read the entire report on Deadspin and then make your own decision. Right. It's really yeah. almost obvious that he was in. It's on it. obvious. But, but, but now they're just saying, "Oh, Notre Dame says it was catfishing." It was and, catfishing. The, and they just go with that. Like, all right, just, just go. go. They yeah. run with this. Do, do they have a department at all that that can make a couple phone calls? Right. And go, we're not just taking your word that it was catfishing. Uh, Why are we the only ones? What's that supposed to be? Some kind of sick joke? They're we calling it a sick joke. And we don't even have a news uh, department on the Opie and Anthony show. Oh my well, that's kind of my no. thing. It's just use oh, your own fucking brain. Right. Sit down with your, your buddies. Hash it out like we are. Write yourself a fact checklist. I didn't even know much about this story when we first started, and now yeah. I feel like I, I, I'm i getting it here. Here's a, here's this morning's conversation right when I walked in the door. Opie's sitting down. I walk in. It's on this TV. I go, how about this story, huh? And Opie goes, yeah. And then there's a little bit of silence, and then Opie goes... What's going on with this anyway? Yeah, and I go, I, I have no clue. <laughs> right, we, we both, I think we were both making believe we knew. I know. I wanted to hear your side so I could like get right. up to date. <laughs> we both had no fucking clue. All right, confession time. The first I heard of the story was late last night. <laughs> Me too. Okay. On yeah. Twitter. Okay. I saw people joking about right. it. And I'm like, I don't know. I really am so not in on I this I just one. assumed Until I'd come today. in, ask you, Until you'd be today. like, oh, this happened, this, and i go, oh, okay, I'm up Point to Point being, in, in a little over an hour, we know more than most of the yes. news organizations. Yes. And I didn't even know about this story until late last night. No. Be- right around the time I went to bed, I'm like, wow, what the fuck's going on with this thing? This thing <sighs> seems a little weird. Now we're doing our own investigative yes. journalism. That's how you do it, though. That's yes. why I like breaking it down in front of everyone. Mm. Can we go back to the YouTube clip that sort of uh, puts a lot of this together? Oh, God. The roommate's going to speak, huh? Yes. That's for both of you. That was his roommate the night before the game. How dumb is this guy? Um, you know, <laughs> he could barely sleep. And, you know, it was just a rough, rough night for him. And so I had for him to be able jerk to him off. show up the next day and, you know, play inspired and play as hard as he did, it was just fitting that he got the game ball or Lene got the game ball. Hey, before I start, I love each and every one of you. We had our highs, we had our lows. But at the end of the day, we stuck together. He is he loving the attention. Michigan and Notre Dame fans standing with lays on. Just love. It looked like love. It was love. And when you see that, that's when you know that he's I know I was sent here. He's, I was sent you for a reason. He's caught. And he's that's caught in such a lie. Confirmation that he's him. caught. You made the right choice. Uh, I swear to you, I don't know. I got another hunch. Does he come from like a broken family? No. He's got the yeah. the mom and the dad yeah. and the all right. He is an he, attention. More, he needs crazy. the attention for whatever reason. Lunatic. Like crazy attention. Yes. He's standing up in the middle of the locker room, addressing the team, oh talking about <laughs> his dead girlfriend. His dead girlfriend that doesn't exist. <laughs> Holy fuck. And, and he's a great player. Jesus yeah. Christ. But I guess Bobo's uh, he, relationship with that Katie girl on Twitter is more real 
than this fucking relationship. <laughs> I'm, I'm out. I'm, oh, I'm Jesus. Out. No, dude, it's it's tragic. I'm out. I'm all in with that one. Really? It's hilarious. I'm with Linnea, right? All right. I was with her. I'm inspired. Right. They're catfishing him. Um, okay. I don't know what's going on with that, but it's it's fucking hilarious. Uh, Katie, uh, you, haven't, you haven't tweeted me in two minutes, all right? I gotta hear from you. I love you. Did you see Jim I'm heartbroken, all right? Could you just tweet me? Katie, are you there? I'm here. Why don't you tweet me, all right? 1137, are you there? 1138, I want to talk to you. 1139, are you there? 1140, hilarious. why aren't you replying to me? Jimmy was uh, was uh, putting her in his tweets saying, uh, I can't wait to see you. And uh, oh, when, when we're fucking, uh, it's going to be great. And, you know what? When, when you have a 100% brain, that shit will drive you nuts. And now he's yeah, missing, I in my know. humble opinion, he's missing a little bit of his brain. Yes. To go through that emotion and that feeling we all felt when we first fell in love. Oh, I know. Oh, it's got to be. I know. It's got to be. It's got to be. He sits there and say, he, he tweets and says things like, um, if I don't hear. From, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna cry until I hear from you. Oh. I will be crying until I look at the bag of gifts that I was gonna give you when you were supposed to come for Christmas, oh. and I start crying. That's pathetic. Oh my God! You're all going to hell. <laughs> all right, where are we? So that clip's over. Yeah. Yes. Is our checklist over? Well, I'll read the. Oh checklist. no, we got the athletic director. That's yeah, right. right. I, I knew there was something else. You're caught up. Pretty much. I mean, up until this. I. Can't believe this happened to his girlfriend, Susie. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Suze. Suze. <laughs> the media. The media, is, the media is embarrassed, and they're going to make it hurt now. Because, mm -hmm. you, you know, they got embarrassed by this guy, so they're going to make it fucking hurt. They're yeah. going to have their payback with this guy. You watch. So now last night. The athletic director. The athletic director comes out and basically says, uh, yeah, we've known since last month uh, what that it was fake that it was fake okay. but it's all it's all in the clips the clips are a little long but i mean oh, like, like i said the I story is not they're, short uh, <clears throat> wow okay. now they're saying they knew it was fake but not on his part he's right. the victim he here. is the victim they knew it was fake and they launched some kind of an, invest an investigation and that led and, them to believe yeah, that led them to believe that somebody was, was bamboozling a man tai teo yes Okay, so here's the athletic director. I meant my tail. Jack uh, Swarbrick. Yes. Swarbrick. On the morning like of a fake name. December 26th, very early Felix morning. Felix Hunger was asked to remove himself from his <laughs> place of residence. <laughs> request came from his dead imaginary girlfriend. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he lost the Klugman, huh? Yeah. Poor Good Jack. old Cluggy. Manti called his coaches. To inform them that while he was in attendance at the ESPN awards show in Orlando, he received a phone call from a number he recognized as having been that he associated with Lene Kakua. And when he answered it, it was a person whose voice sounded like the same voice he had talked to, who told him. Uh, that she was, in fact, not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. What? This is hilarious. With what? a straight face, dude. You're saying this with a straight face. I'm not dead. What? Manti promptly took a uh, fireplace poker and shoved it through her eye, where she then <laughs> did die. She was, in fact, a zombie. I'm... I'm just staring at Al, Al Sharpton. Oh, God. What the fuck's going on with this guy? He keeps losing weight. He, he, he is now like, a shrunken head. He looks like an old shoe. He's a shrunken head. It's creepy. What's it looks going like, on with him? You ever, you ever skin an apple and carve a face in it and leave it on the windowsill? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's going on with this guy? He looks terrible. He's got fucking wolfman hair. <laughs> yeah. His hair like sticks out like he's uh, back. one of those uh, speed bicycle guys. Yeah. Yeah, he really does look like one. When you carve a pumpkin and then it just collapses it, into it itself, it falls in. Yes, yeah. after a week after Halloween, <laughs> it's got one of those weird helmets on, but it's his hair. All right, sorry. Oh God. Oh look, look, look. Why? Teo told his coaches about the hoax on December. Tw oh, okay, that's where we're. We don't need them. Yeah, now you. Got well, trust me, we're doing a much oh, better job yeah. than CNN. Fuck I, you. Guys. I will guarantee you that much. We got the facts. By the way, all everything we're saying here. 
will come out in mainstream media in a few days. A few days, yes. We have it for you now. Yes. This ends with him press conference admitting that he fucking made up the whole fucking in thing. Shame. Right. Yes. Manti was very unnerved by that, as you might imagine. I will let him again talk about that and his reaction to it. But he maintained that secret vis-a-vis -vis the members of the football family until he called the coaches on the morning of the 26th. It was 20 days after. They the promptly reached out to me to inform me of this shocking piece of news. And I arranged to meet Manti upon his return to campus and did so on the afternoon of the 27th. Now, he told them that it was a hoax, mm -hmm. that he was the victim of a hoax. Mm -hmm. What transpired after he told them it was a hoax? That well, we got that. Find out? Yeah, oh, we, oh, oh, yeah. No, we got more clips there. <laughs> <laughs> we got this in three parts. Oh, I love it. That's the first part. Mm. And they're standing behind him here, right? Notre they Dame. They can't stand behind him. No one has a girlfriend online like that. They're Unless standing you're completely nuts. Behind the fact that he was the victim of a hoax. Uh huh. Whether that's true or not, that's what no. Notre Dame's saying. It wasn't just Facebook uh, magic, uh, MySpace uh, magic with a picture, <laughs> something like that. Because we've all fallen for that one, haven't we, guys? Come on, well, let's well, all get together. Bit. And maybe they just wanted bit. Teo's password. Uh, <laughs> stop it, <laughs> Teo. Stop lying. Um, I can't wait for the players to come out and go. Yeah, we we all knew, and we all, you know, know that he's just fucking nuts. Yeah, bad shit. Because they had to be wondering, why haven't we ever seen this girl? Yeah, who's this girl? Why haven't you just, like, uh, you know, flew yeah. out there to see her? How come you only guy. have three pictures of her? Yeah, right. Yeah, here's two. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, you think you only had three? Three <laughs> pictures. Probably, I mean, <laughs> in this day and age. Oh. Uh. You got a hundred pictures of your duties alone. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> why would you only have three pictures of your right? love interest? And a decision was made to engage an, an independent investigative firm to see if they could determine what was at the nature of what increasingly appeared to us to be a sophisticated hoax. Sophisticated. We received a final report from them on January 4th. Who did the investigations? Just some knuckleheads at Notre Dame? Yeah. Or real investigators? I, I think they hired outside. They did hire. Yeah. Ah. Interesting. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I met with Brian and Otilia Teow in Miami on the 5th. His parents. To share with them the essence of those findings. Uh, we left that meeting with... Uh, an understanding that they would think about um, what they had heard, uh, engage Manti's future representation, which would be determined later in the week, in consultation as to how best respond, and keep the university fully informed of their intentions, hmm. and work in concert with us when they were ready to communicate the story. Mm -hmm. It was my understanding, is my understanding, that they were on a timetable to release the story themselves uh -huh. next week. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah, we're releasing oh. it. Oh. Hey, we the, were going to release it next saying, week. Yeah, they're saying that, that, that Manti was, was going to release the story next week anyway. <laughs> all right, I, all right I, got, I got some things. They... Notre Dame's panicking, like, wait a minute, what the fuck? Uh-huh. And so they're, you know, he, he was going to release all this next week, but yeah. they're wondering why is it taking so long, because obviously Teo and his people are trying to get some kind of story together. Uh-huh. Now Notre Dame's panicking, like, holy fuck, we believed you. So it almost seems like they're kind of beating him to the punch so they could say, look, we, we're we yeah. starting to get suspicious here. I don't believe for a second that he was going to release all of this information of course. next oh, week. Oh, hey, <laughs> no. Oh, hey, guys, by the way, uh, all that stuff was fake, even though you weren't asking about it. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, boy. Because you would hit the... Oh, wow. I mean, if you weren't guilty, you would hit the media with that immediately. Yeah. 
You find out I mean, about that on December 6th. You wait 20 days to tell your athletic director. Right. And then another week. And then your timetable is late January. You're right. <laughs> right you're right, going right. to tell everybody. To tell everybody. You what come you forward knew a month right ago. the fuck. Yeah. Right Say, away. Guys, you're never going to believe this. I was at the ESPYs. Right. And I got a phone call. Because it, it looks wasn't, like I was catfish. You know why? Some because it wasn't something that was just in the privacy of his own home and, and he had been bamboozled, but he kept it very private and personal. If you find out that this was some kind of a hoax being perpetrated on you, and you had done all those public things, all the interviews, the crying on the field, the fucking, you know, adulation you're getting. Yeah, yeah. You would be like, oh my God, I got to get this out immediately that this was a fucking hoax. I, I'm, I'm horrified that this happened. You don't sit on it until the college comes to you with their investigation and go, Oh, right. You know what? What a coincidence, because that's exactly what we found out. <laughs> and we were going to release it next week. Yeah, no. Unless this guy is... you're incredibly embarrassed by the fact that you fell for some online but how did Now, he... I'm not saying I'm not believing that. He c- he, but no, that's what he's he, saying. He didn't fall for it. No. He's in on it. He's in on it. Because he never saw her. I mean, Absolutely. The, the no first... one would put up with that. How long was this relationship with this girl? According couple, to him. A couple of years. A couple of years, years where he never saw her. <laughs> Through car accidents and leukemia, too. <laughs> right. Fuck it. Like, if you wanted to see a girl, that you would absolutely see and, her if you're in love with her, if she's dying. And when you got, like, a, like a cool life happening, like, you know, he's got, yeah. he's going to want to celebrate those moments with his girlfriend. Right. <laughs> Which would make you question everything. Like, what the fuck? That she should be here right now. Or I should be with her. There should have been pictures of him bedside with her with leukemia and just fucking like... Makes him look like a complete asshole. Right? Yeah. She's died of leukemia and, and he never visited her. If he didn't know her... I mean, if he, if, if, this, if he didn't know this was a hoax, he's uh, an you asshole. Know what? <laughs> we're, add to our uh, checklist. Yes, yes. We're done using the word if. Oh yeah, okay. We're talking right, cuz I see you, I see that you're writing if he thought. But <laughs> yes. I'm talking for the room and I hope everyone agrees. I At this point we're not agree. using the word no if more anymore. Ifs. Okay. No more ifs. At this point I completely believe he's all in on this. Yes. Sorry. His statement basically says this was really embarrassing. Now I'm going to prepare for the NFL draft. Oh, so oh, leave really? me alone. Yeah. So could you leave me alone? I, I mean, to, I, the to, Jets are crazy enough to take him. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just want to. Buy, yeah. I just want to put that out. Rex there. Ryan probably loves this. Yeah, guy. Rex Ryan oh, loves this story. Oh, he yeah. likes a good liar. <laughs> he can't wait to have him on the yeah, on yeah. the practice field. Yeah, you're just as crazy as me. Welcome aboard. This is great. <laughs> and here's um, chapter three of the story. Yeah, this is about catfish. Yes. Can you say what you've seen or what the investigators saw? That would um, some people, are gonna, you know, obviously who don't know the whole story, are going to question whether Manta was behind the hoax. Oh. Yeah. What have you seen that would that would prove that that it could not be the truth? Well, there are several things. Uh-huh. Um, uh, one is uh-huh. I would refer all of you, if you're not already familiar with it, with both the documentary called Catfish. Mm-hmm. The MTV show, which is a derivative of that document documentary, uh-huh, uh-huh. and the sort of associated things you'll find online and otherwise really about prove catfish anything. or catfishing. It is a scam, probably revealing my television watching habits, but was covered by Dr. Phil extensively recently. Oh, then it's got to um, be true. <laughs> that follows the exact arc of this. Um, and it's perpetrated with shocking uh, frequency for me. Shocking as an older guy who's not not as versed in the online world. But oh, crazy! And it is, it is just as this one: an initial casual engagement, a developing relationship online. He has a jitterbug phone. A <laughs> subsequent trauma, traffic accident, illness, and, and not visiting her. A death. Um, and, you know, as hard as it is for me to, to get my arms around this, there's apparently some sport in doing this. (laughs) See, this fucking guy panicked until someone said, Hey man, there's a catfishing thing. And he went, Oh, thank God. I got something. Right. right, I'm going to go with that angle. Yes. (laughs) Cause he never met her. So that means he had to be in on the catfishing. Yes. 
for whatever reason, he had to be in on it. He never met her. He catfished himself. So this guy bringing up catfish as the reason that he can prove that this guy didn't make it up him, himself right. isn't proof at all. No. That, he, he, he might have been inspired by catfish to do it himself. What right. about this? He catfished the nation because he made us all fall in love with his story. Ah, ah, God damn it. That's pretty good. He's <laughs> in on this. Yes. He's in on... Uh, well, if, Opie, if he's in on this... Oh, oh no, wait a minute. No, no, wait no, a second. No. Let me refer to the... Yeah, okay, we're done with this. Yeah. He's in on this. He's in on this. So why can't the athletic director say that? No yeah, one has a, a, a girlfriend that you never see. During tragedy, especially. Especially during like tragedy. illness like that. He's that in love, but he doesn't go see... That, to me, is the number one bullshitting item right there. He didn't see her... When she had was dying of leukemia, yet he's so in love with her that he can barely talk. He's inspired to play again. It's like a love story with absolutely no fucking love in it. And the clips we were watching, you would assume they had a a real relationship, having, having, having the sex and whatnot. Dude, you just, you don't play the game. You go fuck this. I'm going to California to be with the dying girlfriend, or or on your day off. Yeah, you know what. You know, either way. All right. Football's pretty important. <laughs> oh, or I, You can't be that stupid after a while. You're like, what the fuck? Is this real or not? I'm going out there, and I'm going to fucking yeah, figure yeah, this yeah. out. Right. ...in doing this and being able to do it successfully. So that was one that we sort of found this external um, guidebook, if you will, or, or, or platform for doing this. Two were the internal con consistencies, right, as we probe. Probe. Ask questions. Um, wanted to make sure it all lined up with what we knew independently. Mm -hmm. The facts as we understood them, we're very comfortable with the consistency and how it all fit together. He's doing a lot of talking. He's not doing a lot of proving. Um, yeah. Thirdly, yeah. our investigators, thirdly. Um, through their work, were able to discover online chatter among the perpetrators. Chatter? <laughs> perpetrators? Yeah. It's like terrorism. <laughs> it was sort of the ultimate proof of this, the joy they were taking, the sort of casualness with which among themselves what chatter um they were they were referring to what they had accomplished what chatter what what's that about what chatter is he talking about yeah, what's that, that people about? were taking um uh, were were laughing and having fun with this i don't know probably tweets back and forth or something like right it, it it's a whole lot of nonsense all right well we started the show not knowing much mm -hmm. oh wow yeah do you feel like you know i feel like so i know so much more this guy you is a load of press conference. I can't wait for his press conference. He's going to have to break down and admit he did the whole fucking thing. Yeah. And you think he'll be, do a press conference or just a statement, a written statement? Um, uh, I hate the statement. Yeah, probably a statement. I want, yeah, I want a live. Then oh, people, you, so he could go and hide. If he if yeah. he does a press conference, the first question has to be, well, why did you say you met her? Why did you say she was the most beautiful right, girl right, you right. ever met? Here was, here's what we're going to get. If now you're saying you never we're did. We're going to get a statement. Wait, we definitely have that on record that he did meet her once? No, no, that he says he did. He He's, said he, he said met her once. in interviews, you know, she's the most beautiful girl I've ever met. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, he, he, claimed, he, could... he claimed that they met after a football game in California. Before they were dating? Yeah. Here's what we're going to get. Met. Let me, here's what we're going to get. We're going to get a statement, a written statement, that will be released to all the news that will conclude with saying... He is entering some type of rehab where no. he will, where, yes, yes, because that's think, the only way you fucking get through these things. I think he tries to keep this going a little longer. Why? No, they're going to, because Notre Dame is going to say. It's over, Johnny. Like, what are you doing? He need, knows he needs to fucking uh, uh, get into the NFL, and he can't be uh, this crazy guy. No, so he's going to he's gonna have a statement. NFL's says, filled I'm with crazy guys, though, so. That's true. You know. And then he's going to go to some type of rehab. Like sex fucking addiction or, or booze or something. There's not enough people oh, it's Mormon. questioning him yet. You know, for him we to just are. come out and, and we're, say, we are. We're all well, in. True. We have the facts right here. We do right. have the facts. All that is them. quite a fact checklist. Um, <coughs> all right. Do you want to review the case? So we're going to go through our <laughs> checklist for the last time. Yeah. Right. This is we the broke this down for the last hour and a half, and I think we feel confident. Oh, very, very confident. What's going on here? Here's the summation of the case. We'll surmise in a minute uh -huh. here. Uh, his dead girlfriend doesn't exist. Meanwhile, that on the list 
is already out there even in mainstream media. Right. Yeah. However, the list goes But you got to start deeper. somewhere. Exactly. Because when we started the list, we didn't even know shit. Right. But he, by the end of this list, we know everything. He might be Samoan. Jesus, we can figure that <laughs> oh one out. Oh, my God. <laughs> the list is the list. He might be Samoan or Hawaiian, probably Hawaiian, long shot Spanish on Grandma's side. <laughs> on dead Grandma's side, please. Sure, let me yeah. read that. On dead Grandma's Just side. be factual about it. Yeah. Uh, the internet is a thing. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did learn that today. We think it's a hoax, not the internet. Of right. course. Uh, probably a bit light in the loafers slash mo. Also... <laughs> He's most likely a queeb or a quay, uh -huh. but of course we don't know. And obviously, there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, now I'm moving past the gay angle. Oh wow! I absolutely am. Do you want to um, um, uh, amend uh, this this uh, list? I don't know. I mean, it's on the list. It's on the list. I'm moving past the the gay angle. This guy just, I just loves. Crazy. All right, love, he's crazy and loves attention. Here's here's and, how we should uh, do this then. We have probably a bit life and light and lovers. Let's change probably to maybe. Okay. There's oh, a yeah. chance. Yeah, there's there's a, a slight there's chance. There's a slight chance, sure. He's a bit, right. But it just shows you when we started this, we didn't know shit. Exactly. But now I, I feel like I know a lot more. And it's, okay. okay. It's not that he's hiding the fact that he might be gay. It's right. He just loves attention. Uh, and, Sam, could you read that back for, for the record um, well, here's uh, the, with the new Oh, um, uh, yes. The line. problem is the second sentence. Uh-huh. Is also most likely uh, he's a queaver. Uh, okay. oh, also, he's um, also there's a small chance <laughs> that he okay right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm out on that whole thing. Uh, but we got to keep it in there. Just but for in real, case. I was in on that when we first started this. Because if it okay. does break that he is a queeb or a quay or a mo, but he or could, light in the loafers, we'll look silly if we don't have it on our list. Could be one or all of those things. But yes. I'm saying now that it it has nothing to do with this story. Okay. I'll continue right. to list. He wasn't trying to hide that. I, he, sure. Here's a guy that loves it. Just loves attention. I'll continue the list from that modified fact, mm -hmm. which is slight chance he's a bit light in the loafers slash mo. Also, there's a small chance that he's a queeb or a quay, but of course we don't know, and obviously there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, very good. Uh, everyone loves to catfish. Sure do. A lot of red flags here. <laughs> so many red flags. <laughs> Not as many, though. Uh, really? Yeah. The news media are a bunch of lazy bums. Right. When he talks, we will get douche chills. Mm -hmm. That should be amended to we did. We do get when yeah. when he when he talks, we get douche chills. We heard him talk. Yeah. I got some douche okay. chills when he was giving I, that interview. I, I certainly did too. Right. And what I mean by not as many red flags, now there's a lot of obvious shit. Here. Obvious. At first we were like suspicious, but now yes, yes, we're knocking down those red flags. Flags are turning into facts. Yes. When he talks, we get douche chills. Yeah. Yes. His grandma is dead, but everyone's grandma dies. Uh -huh. He's a kook either way. That's <laughs> yes. him bold. That's yeah, that yeah. one we're standing by. Regis must be mad. He must be. Mm -hmm. uh, we're done with the word if. <laughs> no yes. more if. And finally, he's either a liar or a complete <laughs> asshole. <laughs> uh, how about he's either what? a liar and or a complete asshole? And why isn't CNN going with that? I know. You know how they have that... that that shit on the bottom of the screen. Yes. Can't they at least say that? He's either a liar. That should be in the or, crawl at the and bottom. Or a complete ass. That should, that should go by on the crawl on the of bottom of the screen. <laughs> He's either a liar and or a complete asshole. ESPN is... Uh, let me say hi to Todd. Todd. Uh -oh. hey, hey, this is Todd. How are you? Hey, Todd. Hey, listen. Uh, ESPN is currently running uh, a statement that says he put out a written statement ab about this and that he uh, was taken in by this hoax. Yeah. We, okay, we got all we that. Got that. Yeah, we we're, we're just we're looking for updated facts. We're, uh, we're so it. on this now. Yeah, yeah. We started this show shitty and not knowing much. We but, didn't know anything. Now but, the second a new detail comes in, I could tie it into I, all this. I feel like after an hour I'm an expert on this. Yeah. A complete yes. expert. Exactly. Mm-hmm. We have What if it Notre out. Dame is in on this to get the Heisman Trophy to their school? No fuck away. Not after that Penn State shit. Oh my God. Right? You know, all those uh shenanigans go away after the Penn State thing. Mm -hmm. I think. Mm. There's mm. a player who came out on ESPN today and said he met her. What? Yeah, there's some Arizona Cardinal who said that, that he met her and she's definitely real. That's like Sue's. <laughs> we spent one night together. <laughs> uh, Sue's. Uh, you think Lance Armstrong loves this right now? Oh, boy, does he ever. 
his big interviews tonight, and nobody's going to care. And this is like, what, sports story? Oh, yeah. that's the sports story, not you fucking doing roids. We don't this care. This guy says, I have a friend who went to Notre Dame and saw Teo the day after he uh, uh, announced she died, excuse me, partying with girls. With girls? Uh-oh. That uh, puts less of a chance that he's a bit light in the loafers, mo or a quay or a queeb. No, nah, I'm, I'm out on that angle. You're totally out. Just a slight yeah, chance. Yeah, I'm out on that one. I like leaving it there just in case, in case? though. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Cover everything? You've yeah. got to save this list, because uh, this yeah. list is well, going to be... Yeah, I'm going to take a picture of it and tweet it out to the news media. You should. Yes, yes, yes. That way they'll see, oh, okay, we got exactly. the facts. You know what? I, I'm going to do that, too. The okay. I'm yeah, you should uh, put up there... Um, oh, uh, Opie and Anthony... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Opie and Anthony's uh, Manti Teo investigation. Yeah. What checklist? Oh, no, you got to change. You got to put Opie and Anthony up there. Yeah, so that anybody right, right. that that shows that. Are you going to print out this uh, checklist? I Opie and Anthony. Print it out, so then the picture will be better. We don't have a. This isn't connected to a printer. I could email oh, it. Oh my would it God! Be? Why would it be, man? Are all the printers jammed? Yeah, and Iraq e was <laughs> complaining about their printer. <laughs> I can text this to you, Opie, if you Is want. Is the printer a character in his movie? That would be cool. Oh, Maybe that's how he goes back in time. Maybe, All yeah. the printers jam, and when they try to press buttons and fix it, there's some crossing of electronics, and he goes back in uh, to the hey, 40s. Can someone push my camera button? And he goes, what happened to the printer? Sir, and the guy in the it? 40s goes, what are you even talking about? What's a printer? Uh, uh, oh, my God. Uh, oh, boy. Come on. Stretch it out. There you go. It's deep. It's gonna be all blurry. <laughs> when you hate when you try to take pictures of the text and it's all blurry. <laughs> we could have just printed it out. You could have taken a picture. Can't print it. There's no fucking printer. Yeah, we could have yeah. sent it to another printer. Oh, you can email it to yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, and then uh, do that. And then was, uh, really, that's like weird shit. No, right? Email yourself. That's Technology. crazy. Paradox. It's crazy. It's like the 70 year old guy emailing his 18 year old self mm -hmm. from 2013 about what happened in 1940. And then what happened? I don't know. Oh. He won't tell me. Why? I like your printer angle. Oh, no. You might have something there. She would. Man, I'm going to like zoom in on this fucking thing. So yeah, are we done with yeah. this story, you I think? I think, uh, well, for now, for Opie. Now, yeah. We've got this the is facts. A, this is an ongoing investigation here on the Opie and Anthony uh, program. Really? We get to the bottom of things. We accomplished more with this story in, in about an hour than the mainstream media has uh, or will in days. Okay. All right. We got the checklist. I'm going to fucking send that out. He's nuts, man. Bat shit fucking crazy. He's a kook either way. In bold type. Yeah, he has to be. It's on his yeah. list. No one would put up with that shit and never meet the girl. Oh, God. Unless you're a complete asshole. Right, a liar also, and or a complete asshole. You, you, could, you could Skype. There's all sorts of there, shit. There were apparently oh, right, right. scheduled meetings where she never showed. <laughs> Huh. Well, he knew she was in the hospital. He could have met her there. Yeah, he could have She's going to gonna fucking get up and run away with leukemia. Or being in a coma. Oh, Margie. So the guy from Arizona, um, he's, keeps, he states he knows the girl. Yeah, he's saying that he met her at a party and that, and that the guy uh, who I, we believe created Lene is actually Lene's cousin. So there is a Lene? There's a, there's probably, he probably met a girl who this guy said, hey, this is Lene, who is probably the girl who, you know, if, if Manti ever spoke on the phone with some girl, uh -huh. probably. So there's a picture of this girl out there. So the media well, well, is now going to find this fucking girl. Well, no, because the, the, the photos of the girl, Deadspin already found, right. is that girl who, who gave, uh, what's his face? The photos, uh, unknowing about the entire thing. The, the the photos that you see, she has nothing to do with this. Mm -hmm. Right. It's just her photos. Gotcha. Like catfish. But right. there's probably a girl who is friends with, uh, what's this guy's name? R Renaya. Who plays with the Cardinals. No, no, no. no. What? Well, now I'm confused. I know. It's very confusing. Oh, my God. Do there, we, there we might need another checklist. There's probably a girl right. who is friends with... With the guy who created Lene. Right. Who also knows Manti. Right. Oh, boy. There's probably a girl involved. So... Because, right, catfishing sometimes is, is like, you know, multiple people... Sure. ...get in on it, yeah. Sure. Like, you need a girl. Like, what if what if Manti wanted to talk to her on the phone? Mm. He totally could have talked to a girl on the phone. It's like perverted justice. But Manti... Oh. sounds like a 13-year-old. hate that show. Yeah. 
But you think Manti was in on this? Yes. But there's reports that... Not this, officially. Our, our show is saying yes. Manti was yes. in on this. Yeah, there's no... For whatever we're, reason. We're but, done with the word if. There's right. reports that this L- L- Lene girl existed before Manti. Like, other people were in a online relationship with her. Uh-huh. You know? Really? Yeah. But it could have been Manti's were, friend doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, no, it which, was. And then Manti goes, hey, you know, let's was. use this. And, they're they're right. saying well, that, that she was created in 2008, and at least one other person so had what, a quick online relationship So who's with this her. person? Why aren't they talking to him yet? Well, I mean, Deadspin found him. Right. Yeah. The he, other guy. Yes. Ro- oh, the Cardinal? No, the guy Renaya? that also had a relationship with this Lene. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah. They'll find him, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. Or they were catfishing and then come. wanted to go for the big fish. If you believe that Manti and, is innocent. Right, and, and yeah. found this gullible guy. Yeah. The word gullible should be on our list. No, no, no our yeah. list is good. Yeah, yeah, complete. yeah, complete asshole is. I like that. All right. More tomorrow. Yeah, more, more maybe later, later today. Later today. Uh-huh. This story is breaking uh, by the minute. So you think there's a uh, um, a video that will be tail breaking down, admitting oh, everything? I hope hope so oh god i want to see that so bad <laughs> or does he just release a statement and try to fucking disappear i'm 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 going with with statement and and keeping up the catfish i'm angle. going statement rehab but you can't keep up the catfish angle because eventually that will break down no once they have all the uh, oh but he's gonna hope that yeah he, that's gonna be good yeah, enough. i mean he's not just gonna like show all of his cards today so I think he's going to keep he it. He continues up. like I'm an idiot. I, yep. I'm all right. Mm-hmm. I'm a victim of catfishing. No questions. I'm a victim of circumstance. But then eventually, you think it, it breaks down to you're not a victim of catfishing. Yeah. You did this whole fucking thing. Big Oprah interview. Oh boy. Oh man, they're fucking lining up for Oprah. Yeah, lining up, man. There's a <sighs> there's a backlog of people <laughs> needing to admit shit to Oprah. Yeah, I don't think he gives it all up today. Without being pushed. as far as sports figures having to apologize and stuff uh, for lying, uh, Oprah is the place to go. Sure. I predict Bubba Ray Dudley Damn it. will be going on Oprah to confess to the fact that he's lying through his fucking teeth about marrying <laughs> Hulk's daughter. You know, I Brooke. did. <laughs> we got audio, right? Oh, I did want to apologize, did. actually, real quick. Oh, hey, call yeah. Oprah. Yesterday, I came on the show and said that uh, Bubba Ray Dudley was marrying Brooke Hogan as a storyline. Yes. Uh-huh. I was informed after talking to Bubba that uh, it is not. Uh-huh. It is not a storyline. So I did uh-huh. want to say I'm sorry. Is he a victim uh-huh. of catfishing? Uh, could be. <laughs> could be. Yeah. The Hulkster's like fucking making believe he's Brooke. <laughs> yeah. I love you, brother. It's Brutus Beefcake on Twitter. <laughs> Send me some dick pics, brother. <laughs>